So, hi, Adam. How are you doing? Chandler Limited. Yep. Um, you've got a pretty interesting kind of microphone concept on show this year, right? Yes, yep. Uh, we've introduced just recently the all-new Chandler Limited EMI Abbey Road Studios Red Microphone. And the Red Microphone, as the name implies, uh, is based off our Red Series uh, mic amplifier, which is the Red.47 Holy Grail uh, tube preamplifier. So the microphone is actually a tube mic, um, but it's, it's more than that. It is a tube microphone and preamplifier in one. We've taken the Holy Grail Red 47 mic amplifier and we've uh, converted it into a microphone. So it's a tube mic preamp in one concept. That is that the red circuit is in the microphone, so your preamp is actually inside the microphone about a half inch away from our premium handmade, hand milled, uh, custom platinum membrane capsule. So it's not gold, it's actually platinum. And uh, the concept behind it was our founder and chief designer, Wade Goki had always had an idea to uh, sort of combine a, a microphone preamplifier and a mic in one as a concept and, and in that process remove a set of electronics, simplify, and uh, drive the circuit at the source for a very pure transmission of the sound. And uh, he kind of thought about it more and more and we've done the uh, EMI Abbey Road series for so long and, and uh, Abbey Road Studios through the sessions that they had done with the Beatles and Pink Floyd really had made so many microphones uh, that we know today, U47s and 48s and C12s relevant in their own right, um, that he kind of felt, you know, wouldn't it be cool for them to have their own microphone, a, a true Abbey Road microphone? And what better way to do that than again to use the Holy Grail Red 47 preamp as the basis for it for the concept of the all-in-one mic preamp in one uh, circuit. So that's what he's done. And uh, if you look on the back side of the mic, there's the preamp gain. So you have from plus four to plus 33 dB of gain on the mic. The mic is also uh, cardioid and omni switchable. So there, there are your patterns right there. And then you have a phase reverse which is our polarity or pole switch right here. And then you have a 10 dB pad at the top of the mic. And then over here you have a very special switch and it's the normal and drive gain stru structure switch. So in the normal mode, it's a very standard gain structure. Um, and in the drive, we're leaning into the circuit for a little more tube saturation. It changes the tonal characteristic of the mic and gives it a nice colorful sound, adds a little more characteristic hair, if you will, or a lot. Uh, depending upon how you're using the mic. And then on the power supply, we have an output fader, just like you do on the RED 47 preamps, just an output fader. However, if you pull it out, it's a secondary voicing of the mic, which we have we call the low contour setting. And what that does is tighten the, the bass a little bit, pushes out the chest and, and the uh, highs a little bit more. So it leans the mic a little more forward while sucking in the gut, if you will. Still just an output fader, though, when it's pulled out. So. Uh, essentially, that's what everyone's excited about. Uh, when you hear it, it's a larger-than-life sound. Um, it's a unique thing. It hasn't ever been done before like this. Um, it's, uh, it's not a clone of any other microphone, so that's what's really important here as well. It may uh, look a little bit like a U47, a little bit like a 251 with the paint job and whatnot uh, down to the bell, but in fact, beyond that, that's really just an homage to those great historic mics. Uh, once you get past that, it's a completely different ball game. There's nothing like it available. So in terms of like electronically um, putting the preamp inside the microphone, yeah. what does it add in terms of uh, it, like what, clarity and things? Sure, sure. Well, so this microphone has tons of detail. Um, being that the, the actual tubes and the, the red circuit that has been adapted as a microphone is in, living inside here, and now that we're driving the signal right from the microphone, you're plugging this microphone directly into your converter. You don't have to go into an external preamp. That's kind of the big idea behind it. You can turn up the gain here, plug it right in and go. It is line level output, 200 ohms. So you could plug it into a compressor if you wanted to on your way in, or just go directly into your converter or tape machine or, or whatever you're using. Um, there's something to be said for having the capsule that close to the preamp and driving the sound from the source rather than driving it at the end of the line the detail is re retained. You can hear everything. 
um, during testing and, and building of the mic, Wade had commented, you know, he kept hearing something and he asked the vocalist to stop for a second. He realized it was her eyes that were blinking. So even at a distance, you're gonna hear a lot of detail with this mic. And that's kind of one of the cool things about it. It's a very larger than life sound. The bass doesn't drop off. You have a nice bass response even at a distance. Um, it remains very focused and highly detailed. It's a very pure sound. So um, is it available now? Yes, actually we've been shipping for uh, a little while now. So it's about uh, late fall and January we've been shipping, yeah. Excellent, and uh, what is the kind of retail price on that? Uh, in euros, uh, being that we're at Music Messa 2017 and we're here in Frankfurt, Germany, it's 5799 including VAT here in Germany. Excellent, well thank you very much for speaking to us. All right, thanks.